<laughs> you alright? Yeah, cast. Ask and you shall receive. It's not true. Nobody asked. Back with another mini episode! One of the nice things about being a bartender is you get invited to lots of tastings, and more often than not, they give you really cool stuff just for showing up. Like this. This is Kamu XO, and I don't know much about it except that as an XO, it's at least six years old, and it ain't cheap. Oh, and for a mini, it has some of the nicest packaging I've ever seen. Inclusion of a screw cap is very thoughtful. It smells nice. Lots of baking spices, baked apple, uh, lots of fruit notes, raisin, wood. This is why you drink cognac. Now when you hear cognac, you may think sidecar, but I already made one of those. So I'm going to make what I think is a lesser known classic, the Champs-Élysées. I'll be right back. This drink calls for cognac, lemon juice, simple syrup, chartreuse, and bitters. But here's the thing. Most people know this drink from the Savoy Cocktail Book by Harry Craddock, and to the best of my knowledge, Craddock didn't specify green or yellow chartreuse, so while most contemporary recipes call for green, I prefer with yellow, and that's what I made. If you think I'm dumb for not using green, then make your own damn video, or if you have both, make two cocktails, and you'll see that I'm right. This drink is terrific. It is the perfect balance of sweet and sour. It is herbal. The cognac is there. Maybe a little bit more mellow since I'm using an XO, which I don't really mind. Although if you wanted a little bit more of a spirit forward drink, you'd probably use a younger cognac. <sighs> Jokes aside, this is a great drink no matter which chartreuse you use. If you don't have the ingredients, go out and get them. It's worth it. That's it for today. Stay safe, all the advice professionals. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.